hello guys welcome back to my channel on today's video we will be working on judge material and i will be cutting this tie with lining so this is the judge the indian judge this is the one it has two wrap but one is a uh, net with the design i hope you are seeing it this is the net with the design and this one is one of the wrapper it only has design on on the damp parts i hope you see that and this one is the net for the upper part kind of if you want to tie it as a wrapper you use this one to sew the blouse but on this video guys i'm working on george so i'm working on long gown it will be an off off, sh uh, off shoulder long gown the upper part will be an off shoulder long gown then it will have two step then with a side drape it will have drape or uh, you call it a gown wrapper that's either you call it gown with drape or you call it gown wrapper so guys i will start cutting this tie with the lining i'll be working on the lining after the lining i will use it to the lining i'll use it to trace out on the george fabric so guys if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome please subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i upload a new video like my video share my video all right guys let's move to the cutting so guys the length of the gown i'm working on is 60 is 58 inches sorry 58 inches on my last half inch which is 17. so if i'm my last 17 from 58 i'll have 42 inches then i'll be adding one inch for sewing allowance it is judged so i will not be folding the mat so one inch sewing allowance that will give me 43 but because i want the judge to be longer than the lining i'll be cutting 41 on the lining while the judge will be 43 so i'll measure out 41 from the lining So guys, I've marked out a uh, 41 inches. So from here, I will measure out my waist measurement. So this is nine inches, nine inches for my hip. Sorry, for my hip measurement. So after marking nine inches, the next thing I have to do now is to insert the waist circumference and hip circumference. My waist is 36 sorry 34 divided by 4 will give me eight and a half i'll be adding two inches for sewing allowance and one inch for the darts that will give me 11 and a half so i'll mark 12 inches then the hip is 42 divided by 4 will give me 10 and a half and i'll be adding two inches for sewing allowance that will be 12 and half So after marking it, I'll connect the line from waist to hip. Then, since I mark 13 inches on the hip, I make it round number instead of 12 <coughs> inches. The next thing I will do now, I'll my last 2 inches from the 13, giving me 11. Then I'll mark 11 on the down part. So after marking 11 on the down part, I'll now use my ruler to mark a straight line you can mark it with your free hand but me i want to use ruler to mark the line <laughs> so guys i've marked out the skirt so the next thing now is to insert the that line so to mark my dart that will be four inches Four, the width will be four inches, the length will be six inches. So I'll mark four inches, four by six. So after marking four by six, I'll mark half inch from the waist to the both side, half, half inch. 
from that half inch i'll connect it down to the six inches that will serve as my dart so if i want to sew the dart i'll hold the half inches from the both side and i'll sew it so guys i've marked it all out the next thing now is to cut it out using it to trace the back adding my zipper allowance guys i've placed it on the i've placed the front on the fabric cutting the back with one and a half with one and a half inches for zipper allowance so i'm cutting it out after cutting it out now i'll cut the zipper allowance open So guys, the next thing now is to cut the second step. I told you the gun has two steps. So this is the first step, which is the full length. The second one now will be the second step. And it will not be the same with the first step. So I have to my loss some inches from the first step in order to get to the second step. Alright guys, to cut out the second step, I've already folded my fabric. And I'm making use of, remember the first one, the length was 41, the lining length. So this second one, the second step I'll be cutting, on my last 15 inches from 41, giving me 26. So I'll mark 26. Or rather on my last 16, giving me 25. So I'll be marking 25 inches. So guys, after marking 25 inches, I have to place this front one in order to trace it out. As you can see, I make sure that the, the waist of the skates run very well with the line I marked. So after this, the next thing is to cut it out. So guys, after cutting it out, I will now use this one, the second step, look at it, I will now use it to cut out the back. I will also add zipper allowance on this, because the step will be at the front and the back of the dress. So guys, I have traced out the second one with the lining, so now I will be cutting out the half length. To cut the half length is an off shoulder guard, so I'll my last five inches in order to get the half length. So the half length is 16 inches plus one inch for sewing allowance. That will give me 17 inches. So looking at what I'm doing here, you will see that I my last five inches before marking the 17. So after marking the 17 inches. The next thing I have to do is to mark where I want my chest line to be. So I'll place my tape from the 5 and I'll mark 9 inches. That will be for my ambo. 
So after marking that, I'll mark my nipples to nipples no joint, which is eight inches divided by two will give me seven and will give me four inches. Sorry, eight divided by two will give me four. So I'll mark the four inches all through. I'll mark a straight line. A straight line. So having marked that, the next thing now is to mark the nipples to nipples measurement. Sorry, the under boss, I mean to say the under boss is 12 and a half. So I'll mark 12 and a half. And the boss point is 9 inches. I'll mark 9 inches. So this is my boss point, my under boss, the shoulder right. line, and the half length. So to mark for the dart, remember I'm cutting a boss tear of shoulder gun. So to mark the dart, I'll mark one and a half inch to this side, and I'll mark one inch to this side. So I'll mark it from under boss down to the half length. After marking that, I'll connect the line down up to the boss point. After marking the lines, I will come up to the shoulder line and I will mark one inch to the both side. After marking one inch to the both side, I will connect it down to the under boss. So after that, I will now insert the shoulder measurement, which is 14 divided by 2 will give me 7. And I will measure at 7 inches. Remember, I my lost this, this 2 inches, so I will be adding it up, giving me 9 inches so i'll mark my nine inches then my first measurement is 38 divided by four will give me nine and a half nine and a half then i'll be adding half inches which are my loss here after cutting this whole thing i'll have 10 inches plus three inches so in allowance then my waist is 34 divided by four will give me eight and a half then I'll add this one inch and one and a half inch here, which is two and a half. Eight and a half plus two and a half will give me 11 plus three inches. So in allowance, that will give me 14 inches. So I'll connect the lines. After connecting the lines, I'll also connect the shoulder. I'll carve my armhole. So after carving the armhole, the next thing I have to do now is to cut it out. I'll cut it out using it to trace the back but i won't be cutting it pieces i will only cut it out then after cutting the back i will not cut it by pieces so i've cut it out i will use it to cut out the back so guys i've cut out the back adding my zipper allowance so the next thing now is to mount the neckline I added 2 inches for zipper allowance, so the neckline will be, but before I proceed, the back of this dress will have a rope, I will face a, an eyelet on it, so because I will be facing an eyelet on it, I will be taking out the 2 inches which I added, plus extra 2 inches for the eyelet open, so I will mark out 4 inches. And cut it out so after marking the four inches I'll cut it out I'll cut it straight then I'll bring the neck down i don't want the neck to be high i'll bring it down by one inches so the the back will be like this with the eyelet the opening you are seeing is where the rope will pass through i told you i'm going to pass through an eyelet on it so the rope will pass through this angle so now the next thing i'll be cutting out the back i mean the front sorry i will now pieces the front in order to get my bustier shape.
so guys i've cut it out now i will launch the center area where i'm launching is the under boss so this is it now the next thing i have to do and this is the back the next thing i have to do guys is to cut it out to trace it all out on the main fabric so remember i cut the uh, the first skirt the normal length then the second step and the half length so the next thing is to trace it out on a material after tracing it out i will show you guys okay if you are new to my channel please subscribe and if you subscribe please stay tuned watch this video to the end so that you can be able to understand what i'm working on so guys i will be folding this fabric into two after this i will fold it again making it into four guys i fold it into four so i want to cut 360 degree flare so on this uh, spiral floors, it doesn't have a particular measurement. It's not something you fix on the waist or thereabouts. You fix it on your sleeve as a design or... So guys, this won't be having any measurement. You use the measurement of your choice. So now... So now I have 11 and a half inches here. And I would love to walk... Uh, I would love to work with the length will be eight inches. Oh no, seven inches will be okay. So seven inches, this angle has no measurement. So I assume I will be making use of three inches. You can use two inches or more than that. But okay, let me be making use of two and a half inches. So I'll mark it all around. Two and a half inches. So after marking it all around, then I will mark the, measure, the length which I want. So I'll be marking 8 inches as the length. I, I wanted to use 7 before, but I added 1 inch for, that will be my sewing allowance and everything. So I'm marking 8 inches all around. After marking 8 inches, as you can see, I will cut it out, then I will use this to get another flare. You can cut two, three of this flare, depending how fuller you want it to be. So, but on this one, I will be cutting another of this 360 degree. After cutting another, I will also cut the lining because I will be using this same satin to turn it up. Then adding my boning, this design will have a boning. It's that boning that will make the spiral floors to, you know, flow very well as in to have a, a fuller flare, alright? So I'll be cutting this one out. So now I have two pieces of this. I have two pieces now. So what next I have to do, I will cut this side open. And I also cut this one open too. So I've cut them open. The next thing I will do now is I will be joining this side together one side of this and the other side I'll be joining it together as you can see so I will sew here after sewing here then I'll turn it up with the lining I have to cut out lining I'll use the same satin to work as the lining so I'll cut out the lining that we use to turn it up so I'll cut the lining and show you alright guys I've cut out the lining and I've joined it Remember, I cut two pieces of 360 degree flare. So this is the lining. As you can see, I've joined it. And this is the flare. This is the flare. I've joined it also. I've joined the two pieces flare together. So the next thing I will do now is to turn this satin, this main satin, to turn it up with the lining. This is the lining. 
So I'll place the, the line, I'll place the right side facing the right side. This is the, here is the right side, here is the right side. I'll place the right side together. So now I'll sew it. I'll sew it all around and turn it up. So I'll go to the sewing machine now and sew it all around and I'll turn it up. I'll show you, after sewing it, I'll show you how I sew it and how I'll turn it in out. I've sewed it, guys, I've sewed it, as you can see. I've sewed and top stitch it. So the next thing that I will do now, I will sew the other side. This is the side I sewed and I top stitch. So I will sew this side too. I will sew this side. After sewing it, I will now turn it out from here. I will turn it inside out. After that, I will measure half inch and sew or one inch. That is where my bony will pass through. I told you that I will be adding bony. It's the bony that will help it to have that flow you have, you see. So I will be adding bony. I will sew one inch to it. Then I will turn it up and I will show you how I'm going to add the bony. Alright. Guys, I've turned it in and out. I used the lining to turn it up. As you see, I sew this side and I sew this side. And I measure half inch as I told you. And I sew it. I sew it all around. I see, see. So the next thing now is to fix the bony. I'm using the bony that you can run a stitch on it. They, are, they have two types of bony as I know. There are the other one that is very strong and thick. You cannot sew on that one. But this one you can sew on it because it's a bit light. So the next thing I will do now is I'll cut it, trim it, then I'll start pushing it inside. I'll start pushing it inside. I'll continue fixing it until I get to the end part. I can see it's giving me, it's forming that flowing which I want. It's giving me that spiral flowing which I want. So I will continue pushing it until I get to the end part. I'll make sure that I arrange it very well. I'll make sure that I spread the flare very well so that it will not be folding. So after doing that now I'll cut this, I'll cut the boning out and then I'll sew it on my, I'll top stitch it on with uh, my sewing machine. I'll do the same to this side. I'll sew it after sewing it. Now I'll show you how to fix it on the sleeve. So now I'm done with the, the spiral flies as you can see you see the effect so you are the one to choose on how you want to fix it on your sleeve anyhow you fix it it's gonna give you 
the effects needed. I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. You'll be the one to use your hand and a hand needle to form it the way, whichever way you want it to be. I hope you see the effect. So you are the one to do it. So I want to fix this on this sleeve. I've already sewed the clothes that I'm fixing it. So I want to fix it. This side, I, I turn it in and I sew. So what I'll be doing now, I'll use my hand needle and I'll be sewing it. I'll be sewing it in a zigzag form. I'll be sewing it in a zigzag form. I'll keep sewing it until I get the shape which I want. So I'll go and fix it. After fixing it, I'll show you the final look of the 